All right, so what's up, Stat Collectors? It's your boy H Stats, and I'm here at Comic Con 2021. Don't mind the mask. Um, so a few things that's missing here, and I see that um, the DC uh, exhibit usually that's downstairs is not here this year, but that's cool. But let's check out some other stuff that we see around here, and um, let's get the show popping. One. All right, so let's walk down this way. And this year I'm Dolo. Everybody chicken out. <laughs> Some people, uh, you know, I understand. Some people didn't want the, um, the vaccination. But um, at the end of the day, it's still your choice. All right, so I'm definitely gonna hit up um, some booths. And then what I also like is um, the artist exhibit. So I'm definitely gonna check that out. So let's go over here first. A little different. A lot of missing people usually is like a super pack. And I gotta definitely get some stuff for the crib. All right. Still cool. What they got cracking over here. Definitely got to find some cool um, art this year. Definitely got to find some cool art. Something I can put in the back. I'm looking at um, this stuff over here. Let's see what they got here. Really, really awesome. That's why I like coming here. Some really, really cool stuff. Man, I hope my volume is not too loud. It's kind of like loud in here, so you guys got to forgive me. Uh, Alright, it's still too early to start buying stuff, so let's go around. And my boy is supposed to be around here somewhere. I, I forgot his booth. Maybe I'll find him. A few stuff over here, artist exhibit. And it feels kind of good <laughs> to some sense that I could walk around. Usually it's like um, person to person. That's cool though. I'm glad people still came out. Alright. Let me see if I can get to um because I heard the XM was supposed to be here this year. And I like to get lost. So I usually don't like use any maps because it's kind of like I can just uh, find discover new things hey guys I got a lantern for your water bottle cool. take that look at this going on over here we'll do it. over here one thing about Comic Con though is like um, why well, I love it so much because it got so many cool venues and as you walk on the floor, you just discover new uh, things. Oh, there's an XM right there. Boom. All right, so let's go check that out. Stat collectors. And this guy really looked like a, a age Han Solo. Awesome. Really, really amazing. Uh, let's see what XM. Woo! I just was standing over here. I'm like, dang. <laughs> wow. Usually it's super packed over here. Oh wow, look at this people. This is crazy. 
Wow. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> this is where I can just get some footage. This is it. One fourth scale Batman Samurai series. Damn. And it actually looked better in person. Look at that head. Wow. Awesome. How you doing? Good, man. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of other samurais around the clock. Yeah, I'm going to scout out the whole fleet. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, that's cool. That's like coloring is not nice. Right, yeah. Yeah. Put it all over my face now. Okay, let's check out this Shin Godzilla. Look at the face. Wow. And that's why I love XM. So we're just gonna go from statue to statue. Cool, cool. I'm sure you guys saw this one already. Man, what do you think is better, the prime one or this one? Okay. Check out this other Godzilla joint over here. Got this guy's picture. And this one here. This one here is uh Godzilla. Wow. I wish I could touch him, but I don't want to get yelled at. Look at the jungle queen. Frank Chow. Awesome. Damn, man. Look at the details on this bad boy. It's so crazy. Got the little dinosaurs here on the side. Wow. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so let's go over here and check out the other XM statues. Now, I wasn't going to to this one the reverse flash but uh let me see this is one six scale but it looks really good in person dang look at this and usually i like um diversity in my collection but just by looking at this one 579 and i don't have um a flash statue but this is really cool and what i like about it it's one six scale and it's an easy easy um display it's not too big you can just set this up in your crib wow so this is really nice so heavy. guys i gotta talk a little low because um, i'm looking at my volume and i just hope when i hear this feedback it's not really really too loud oh god look at this talking on green arrow Sorry guys, I was talking about the Hulk, man. I'll come over soon. 579.16, and that's not bad as well either. Yeah, it's crazy. Look at the detail, you get... Nice base. Got some uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics on it. Really, really cool. And then you got the Super Suns. I get one. I'm 29. Wow. Awesome. And why they got a black? Um, why is that covered? Oh, I see something I love. Look at this Lex Luthor. 579 16 scale. Look at this grill. It's pretty cool. Damn. This is amazing. 
Just check out the cape. Those of you who don't like mixed media, this is a sculpted cape. All right. Let's go around. Now, this is the recovery suit Superman now. I already have the Prime 1 version, and he looks pretty good. Crashing out of this spaceship, which I think is a spaceship. Only reason why I'm passing on this because I already have the um, the recovery suit uh, Superman from um, Prime One. Let me go around and see if I can capture. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> capture the. Uh... Yeah. Wow! Look at that. Awesome. And then of course, I'm so happy I'm seeing this. Because this one I have on pre-order. And it's my man Bizarro. Can't wait to get my hands on this one. He looks amazing. When I saw the uh, pre-order from day one, I already knew it was a it was a definitely definitely pop. Let's turn around and see if I can get over there. I don't want to block anybody. Pictures. Okay. There he is right there. Oh yeah. I mean look at the details in the face. Shit. And I think that's a fair reasonable price. Because the um, details in this one of course. XM always knocks it out the box. Look at this. I'm going to do a quick. <laughs> finger touch. <laughs> Alright so this one is for one. Five seventy nine. And I think for the, the scope, it's reasonable. And for my collection, that brings in that um, diversity that I'm looking for. Because I have never had any bizarro sculptures. And over here, we got the one six scale Catwoman. I kind of like what XM is doing with these um, smaller sculpts because I'm thinking this frees up space. And look at the details you're getting. Look at this. You got a bag with money. Awesome. Wow. All right, now let's check out this one over here. This is what I was telling you guys about. That's just absolutely amazing. Let's check out the price point in this one. Holy crap. I mean, it looks a thousand percent better in person. Damn. The one in color is not here, but this is insane. But even with this, um, and this is marble? That's one six? It don't look like it. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Wow, this is amazing, man. Got my boy Aries over there, his badass. Wow. And this is made out of straight marble. This is a great centerpiece for the crib, but it's better on <sighs> A little pricey. What's what's under there? <laughs> it's the colored version of the that. color version? Oh yeah, so in, probably in an hour or so, I'm not really sure when like some more of our fuel ride. Oh okay. we'll uncover that one. We, we can only display one at a time because um it's oh. kind of a and it was a shipping disaster, pretty much. Oh, okay. we, uh, not a disaster. It's not that big a deal. But they only they, they shorted us one arm. Uh -huh. There's a box missing, so we only have one of these arms. Oh, okay. So we'll just swap the arm over to that one. We don't want to display an incomplete statue. Oh, okay. So we'll display this one for a while, and mm -hmm. we'll display this one for a while. Yeah, I would like to see the color one later. But yeah, are you gonna be around all day? Not all day. I'm just here getting some footage. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah, I mean, I think soon. I mean, we were talking about it. Usually we do it around lunchtime. On oh, lunchtime? Yeah, so I think pretty soon once. Cool, cool. Like I said, oh. once I get a little more help. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just need help to doing it. Because that sheet, you know, you got to drape it over all these things. Mm -hmm. And all these pieces are interchangeable, so mm -hmm. you got to be pretty careful about. Mm -hmm. I guess she's glued on, but like all the heads and stuff come off. And mm -hmm. You got to take, take it apart a little bit. And this is made out of real marble? No, it's made out of a... 
cold cast porcelain. Oh, cold cast. So it's like porcelain. Oh, okay. So cool. it's, pretty, it's like it holds the detail really well. That's how they, you know, the, the real fine detail and everything. Uh -huh. um, but it's also kind of fragile. Okay. Like porcelain. Like if you drop a porcelain plate, yeah, it's yeah, gonna right. break. Right. Looks amazing. They're cool. They do a really good job. Yeah, I own like three uh, XM Studio statues. Which ones do you have? I got the uh, the Red Hulk. Cool. I got the uh, Bumblebee. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. And then um, what's the other one I have? I bought a long time. Oh, and um, Beta Ray. Beta Ray Bell. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah so those are all Marvels, and unfortunately, because we're the official North American distributor, mm -hmm. XM doesn't have the Marvel license in the states. Yeah, it sucks, man. You gotta go through a third party. I wish we could bring them in, but you gotta do that the third party. Eating. That's how I usually uh, buy them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just wish mm -hmm. I could sell them to you and get you a better deal on it. Oh, okay. But, but uh, you, but you, you guys, um, because I know you guys are the distributor of uh, XM, right? Yeah, we're the distributor for XM. Oh, okay. Yeah, usually XM's here because of the pandemic and stuff. They couldn't make. All it. right, guys. So. I was having a little conversation with uh, one of the uh, distributors here, and um, let's get back to this um, Batman Shogo. I don't want to get in anyone's picture. The price tag, and he looks great. This, wow. I don't want to get in this gentleman's picture over here. So let's just, okay, I think he's done. Let's just get some close-ups. It's really, really nice. And I'm not really into the um, Samurai series, but, you know, like I said before, that diversity is always good. So I don't know, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to decide if I would pick uh, something like this up in the near future if they continue the series. It looks amazing. Wow. Awesome. Let's check out the penguin. I saw this one already. I forgot um, where I seen this one. Um, someone had a, did an unboxing on this on YouTube. I just don't remember. But this looks amazing in person. And I never thought I would like um, care about the uh, Samurai series, but this is cool. Wow. Check this out. Uh, let's see if I can get some of that. Let's see if we can get um, the Joker. Really got to find a good art print. Damn, this is so cool. All right, there's people taking pictures here, so I don't want to get in the uh, pictures. All right, let's see. Can I get a picture, dude? All right. All right. That's the Joker. Damn. This looks incredible. Look at that. I mean, there's so many details on this. I think it's really, really worth the money. Look at this cape. I don't know if anyone did a review on this one yet. But look at this. Now you guys see why this stuff costs so much money. <laughs> Fine, fine, scoping, high end. Really, really awesome. All right, so I think that's it. Um, let's go, I guess, walk around. And then we'll probably come back later. All right, guys. Peace.
Let's check out the art exhibits. Let's see what I can find this year. Oh, that God of War looks pretty decent. But I would need a bigger, bigger picture. Hmm. Yeah, that God of War over there. He's something now it's always difficult for me finding what I need people or what I want because there's so many oh look at this this is actually cool seeing in person and I've seen these around on um the websites yeah I've seen these around let me see if I can get a little closer I mean, if you're a New Yorker like me, you know that. <laughs> and I'm sure, you know, these guys have a markup price, but um, I'm not going <laughs> to know I can get probably like two of these for the, or three possibly. No, two for the same price. That's pretty neat. And I know exactly which store to get it. That Street Fighter, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> that Street Fighter one is pretty cool. All right. Let's see what they got over here. Oh, it's overkill. <laughs> okay. Definitely, definitely got to hit up the um. Artist exhibit probably on the other side. I'm not into this. The toy Tokyo. And it's so crazy how like um, other distributors aren't here this year because um, the first time I came to um, the con. I bought um, my first statue, and it was uh, a Lionel. I can't remember the name of the company right now, but I'll get it for you guys. These are people who are into uh, this type of genre. All right. Not into this kind of art. Why do they have these guys on the toilet taking a dump? Why would I want that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry for the shake, people. <laughs> Let's see what they got. Oh, they got lightsabers? Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at that. That's actually cool. I'm sure this is about a thousand bucks. <laughs> Whoa. That's pretty neat. Wow. It would definitely be the uh, green version for me. Custom lifesavers. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what are these running for? The prices? So they start at about three ninety nine for a traditional mm -hmm. LED saver, but for something with the pixel like this one, uh -huh. so they start at about five sixty five. Oh, I can do that again. That's that's really nice. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So, I'll definitely be checking that out for these lightsabers. And I'll have their information, people. But um, I guess you might have to DM me for that one because um, I don't really, I'll be promoting, but um, <laughs> okay. What they got over here? 
And guys, you gotta forgive the sound. I'm trying to stay under um, normal volume levels, but um, kind of hard. Okay, let's see if we can find some other stuff. I really, really want a good poster, but I'm so damn picky. And this is overkill because there are thousands and thousands of. Uh, like really, really great artists. Okay, maybe something like this that's laminated, kind of like highlighted. And let's see over here if we can find anything of choice. Yeah, this is what I kind of like, but I want it bigger. Okay, one for thirty. Okay. Of course, they don't have what I want. Give a tour. That's dope. Oh, okay. Let's see if they got anything here. I'm going to have to come back. I kind of like that prism. Superman kind of looks like. Let me see if I can, there you go guys, you see? So you turn to the side. <coughs> All right. Okay, so now you have Batman, and then you turn over. Now you have Superman. Kind of looks like Elvis though. All right, so like I said, I'm very, very picky. Let me come back. <laughs> All right. I will come back. I'm hoping not to run out of battery. All right, guys, let me just cut for a second. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so basically, as you can see, usually back here around this time, it is like super, super packed, like really, really shoulder to shoulder, and you definitely got to have your mask on this year. So um, even though you're vaccinated, but that's cool. I'm trying to, let's walk down another aisle. Let's see like what they got um, down the other aisle before we hit up the um, artist exhibit. Alright. Oh, I was looking for this. This is exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> they sold out over. This is the Biggie Small statue. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, it's going to be using 425, 450. We're still figuring out shit. Our pre order. So like whatever we can sell in 24 hours, that's gonna close. And what, and what, what time do you say it starts? Probably like 11 a.m. So probably like 11 a.m. on Thursday to 11 a.m. on Friday. So next week Thursday, 11 a.m. Damn. What's up, mommy? How you doing? Oh shit. Thank you. Oh, you have a sculptor for this? Yeah. Oh wow. That's the man. That's behind it. <laughs> Mind going on my channel, A Stash Collectibles? What's that? You mind going on my channel, A Stash Collectibles? Alright, so this is the sculptor. What's your name, buddy? Steve. 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 Alright, so I will be pre ordering this biggie. Wow. Yeah, we're on that. This is fire. This is definitely, definitely going in the connection. Wow. This is definitely going to my collection. So he said next week Thursday. Yeah, shit. Look at the red man. Not so next year. Okay. But that'll be, the, that'll be the next one after this. Yeah, same thing, like, next year, like, probably later. So it's gonna go Biggie, Redman, and Price. Okay. Where you ship from? I'm in Jersey City. Oh, can you pick it up? I don't do pickups, so I don't actually know. Oh, okay. Oh, shipping is pristine, bro. Pristine? Never got a box that was damaged. That's what's up. It's expensive, man. It's a 10 yeah, pounds. Yeah, it is, it is, bro. Oh, okay. I never got a box that was damaged. It comes in nicely. He does shipping deals if you get both variants. You get a... A cold I caught I caught this by accident. 
you know. Oh. Yeah. Somebody, you know, on um, Instagram was like, yeah, you should check this out. Okay. So I said, oh, shit. You got to go on his Instagram, right? You got, I, already, I already signed up got, for it. You got the purple tape. Mm -hmm. He got oh, the yeah. purple tape, Ghost and Ray. I got like the dog over there. Which like is that. insane. Mm -hmm. You not dropping the purple tape, Ghost and Ray ever, right? That's a one-on-one? I didn't sell yet? Nah, not yet. If you if, if if you can remember, you'll see a comment. H dash collectibles like, where can I get this? <laughs> yeah. How about that joint right there? That's just a personal work. Yeah, so I'm definitely getting this one. This is crazy. If I got permission, I would do it, but. And I got to meet the sculptor, so that's even better. Yep. So this is definitely the. Yeah. All right. Damn. I think this would be the best statue in my whole um, collection. I can't get enough of this, so next week, Thursday, I definitely got to be on there to cop this bad boy. Damn, this is sick. Let me get this red man real quick. He got some of the woo. Wow. Art is everything. Look at that red man. He got some woo over here. That's what's up. Yeah. Get this other one over here. I think that's going to be the best one right there. <laughs> this is Method Man. Concrete Jungle. Fire. All right, people, let's go walk down. That's what's up. That's probably what's That's what's up. Okay. Still haven't found um, something I want. All right, you know what, people, we're going to head towards the, um, the artist gallery. Every year I come, I usually find something I really, really love. Did I cover this area? I probably didn't, but I'm going to walk down here anyway. That's actually dope. That's actually dope. I don't know how much they want for that. Stanley. All right, let's come back. Hope I don't run out of battery. I forgot to bring my charger. All right, let's see. Sorry. Okay. Been here for two hours already. Trying to look for some really, really good art. I already saw a statue that I will pre order. Okay. The good thing about it is you can really see what this guy has here. <laughs> Wow, the floor is easily the floor is um super super packed. Maybe tomorrow. All right, so let's um get over here. See if we can find any something. See if we can find some nostalgia. I just gave up on um the Funko Pop. Yeah. This is cool. Oh, that's cool. So. Hmm. 
I may come back for this one. All right. Uh, any nostalgia, anything you want? They're more like movies, DVDs over here. Five hundred dollars for that um devastator. Wow, it's crazy. Thank God I already have that Megatron up there. Funko Pop I gave that one. There's too many of them, guys. No way impossible. I'll be able to get. Now that's cool. Um, this prism over here, Iron Man. Let's see if we can. Okay, there we go. That's pretty neat. Okay. Got the Joker. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. All right. I'm going to turn off my camera because I want to kind of save some battery. Let's go to the artist exhibit before we start buying shit. <laughs> Alright, stack collectors. I'll be back in a few. See you in the um, artics uh, exhibit. Peace. Alright. What's up, people? What's up? What's up? <laughs> yeah, man. So this year is mandatory now. I hope you guys enjoy it. You know, make sure you check out my man, Astronomer. Yes, sir. Alright, guys. So we're going to head to the artist exhibit as promised. I don't even think I came this way. And I know it looks crowded, but it's really not um, as compared to like uh, recent years because I wouldn't have been able to uh, get across the floor this quick. But the event is still live and popping. See if I can catch some great costumes. I see a scorpion over there. See if I can get this guy real quick. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's one thing I love about Comic Con because you find like the best costumes out there. Dope. All right. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get anybody's picture. Oh, I love it. All right. I'm trying to save some battery, people. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. I forgot and left my um charger at home and that sucks okay check this out all right we're going to the uh, artist alley I sure when I go down these steps I don't bust my ass <laughs> okay yeah Maybe tomorrow. Now this is the only thing right here I can say, you know, and I know in recent years they have said that, um, you know, these autographs that you pay for, and it's empty from these celebrities that this goes for, you know, I guess um, certain campaigns, donations, fundraisers, and that's cool. But why use our money? In my opinion, uh, we support these uh, celebrities. We watch their content. And now you want to charge me a hundred bucks for your autographs, and that's something I'm totally against. Sorry. Go ahead, sir. No, you go. All right, thank you. You know, um, that's a cool uh, Cobra Commander. Um, yeah. So, what's outside? Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of like against that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, how many subscriptions you have now for your, um, I guess, regular streaming? You have all this good stuff you're paying for. You love uh, the actors, you love the content, only to be slapped with a $100 autograph. Like, no. I'm just saying, that's, that's, that's the New York way. Oh, this is the Neil Gaiman Audible. I missed him. I wanted to ch check him out. Let's see. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah, I can't wait for the series. I can't wait for the series. I really don't like audiobooks. I'd rather read the content. Oh yeah, this is what's up. Judge Dredd over here. Let's head to the artist gallery because um, I'm procrastinating. And guys, I'm sorry that I can't cover everything. I'm sorry I can't cover everything. This place is humongous if you guys know that, if you've been here before. But yeah, let's check out the uh, artist alley. And this is closed off. Oh, I feel bad I couldn't bring my kid, but I don't want to take any chances. All right, so this is the artist gallery. And this looks empty. And I mean, to you guys, you might say, well, oh, you know, um, it doesn't look empty, but compared to what I'm used to, I'm telling you, you can barely walk through here. So, again, maybe tomorrow will be a larger crowd. Who knows? We'll have to uh, hope we can find that footage online. Ah, this is dope, people. Why is the light so dim down here? So this is the artist alley. Usually sometimes you can find your favorite uh, comic book writers here. Yeah. I don't know what this is about over here. Oh, okay. CBSC. That's pretty cool. Oh, this alley. All right, guys. So you know what? I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more footage of the artist alley. And uh, hey, what's up, man? And um, I kind of like that over there. I like this over here. Yeah, that's dope. What are you charging for this? Huh? This one, the uh, Chadman Boswick. 20. 20? Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's a good tribute to the late uh, Chadwick Boswick. All right. So much good stuff, people. I mean, you can never totally get everything that you want. And this is why I love this place. Because it's just amazing. Still haven't found anything too captivating yet. What time is it? And guys, it's uh, 12.49. And it's still not that crowded. So much good stuff here. I mean, I like that already. Let's see if I can zoom up. Turtles. That's good, good stuff. One thing I always wish I could do is draw. Maybe I'll teach myself. I know a guy that I bought a, a custom um, headpiece from for uh, my Sideshow Logan statue. And he said that um, he learned to sculpt by watching YouTube videos. Can you guys believe that? It's crazy. Shout out to my man, um, Alvaro from Chile. And thanks again for that head scope, that custom head scope. What's up, boss? How you doing? I'm um, just uh, <laughs> recording some... Right now? Yeah. Okay. You know. What's your name? Oh, my name is Newton Lillibois. I'm the creator of uh, Crescent City Monsters. Okay. I'm at table N9. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. all right. I'll circle back. All right. 
a couple of artists introducing themselves. I don't know if you guys heard, but um, let's see what else they got over here. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> good, good. Oh, some new stuff here. <laughs> what's up, y'all? You want a quick pitch? What's going on, man? <laughs> what's going on? So, uh, Joystick Angels, YA space opera title, sent on five young black space pilots trying to save the universe from evil alien empire. Okay. You guys want to know about some amazing indie comics in the black space? Mm -hmm. Please hit, hit our website up, raycomics.com. R A E right. comics.com. I right, no doubt. Thank you, boss. Appreciate you, man. All right. Cool. cool. Oh, Don Azzarello, is he here? No, I don't think so. Oh, I'm about to say. He's here, Don Azzarello? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay. No time he's coming? One o'clock. Oh, one o'clock? Cool. Yeah. My man Brian Azzarello. I had no idea. Let me get out of these people's way before I get jumped. <laughs> All right, we'll be here at 1 o'clock. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Sad. Artist gallery is not that tacked this year. Wow. I got so many art prints. Because it was really hard to understand. Blue clock, fine as a well, I mean, there were, there were Maybe I'll wait online and pick up a comic. It wasn't like yep. a huge problem. Alright guys, so you know what I'm going to do? Since my man Brian as a well is going to be here, I'm going to wait online, buy a comic for 20 bucks, and see if he'll sign it. Alright, so I'll be back, people. Peace. Alright people, so I'm running out of battery. I turn the camera off so I can get a, a Brian Azzarello uh, signature. I had no idea he was going to be here. Like I said, like last time, this was just a last minute thing. So I did get a photo with him. And um, I'll show you guys that signed um, comic book that I just purchased to get Brian Azzarello a uh, signature and an autograph. 
Really cool guy. I'm glad I met him. But um, I feel like this year I have the advantage because um, the wait for his signature was not um, long at all. So I feel like I have the advantage. And although I plan not to stay that long, I feel like um, once I'm done here at the, um, the artist alley, what I'll do, I'll just um, Transformers. You guys know I love Transformers. And so what I'll do, I'll just walk around and see if I can catch some things. You know? So, it's a long, long, and time goes by so fast when you're having fun because I got here at 10.30 and um, it's so crazy how my friends are not with me this year and I'm here by myself but I saw um, an astronomer from um, YouTube so I guess I have a new friend and um, we chatted for a little bit but um, I don't know so I don't know what you guys think I was trying to have a, a video that I put together before the COVID event happened. How Comic Con was before this whole crazy crap happened. And guys, you know, I can tell you, like, I wish I could just pick up some good art, but I think the highlight for me was actually meeting one of my favorite writers. And that was awesome, man. That was awesome. But I have so much of these fine art prints. Like I said, I could be here all day just trying to get every and anything. I see, like, this is cool over here. Oh, look at this. Good stuff, people. I like that uh, Mr. Strange. I like the Batman. This is cool. That storm. I'll be I saw your website coming up. Yeah. That's good. That stone is awesome. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I like the string. I like the black painting. Wow. All right. All right. Thank you, Derek. Cool. How's it going, guys? Mm. Yeah. Alright, like I said, this stuff can really suck you in because it's so amazing. The artwork that they have, so many, so many. Let's check this out. Good paint job. Crazy. Alright, let's see. That's pretty cool, that hob green goblin. What's up, boy? Uh, How's it going? Alright. This is amazing. Wow, look at that. Jeez. Yep, it's an infinite universe of fun. You can't possibly get everything. <laughs> is this, and this is why I love this, this whole hobby. This is why people really go all out. What's up, boss? <laughs> Come to Comic Con. Man. The imagination is everything. That's pretty cool. That's, that already took me already. Wow. I just, I can't make a decision yet. I need a, a art print. <laughs> but guys, it's just so much good stuff. But this is what I'm gonna do. Um, 
I wish I could give you guys more of the artist gallery. Since that I'm running out of battery, I apologize for that. I'm gonna look for an art print and get some stuff for the kitties. Isn't this from Sideshow? I know Sideshow was selling this one. Yeah. How you doing? Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Isn't Sideshow selling this print? Yes. I know it. Yeah, okay. My first uh, officially licensed uh, Marvel print. Oh, cool. This one, I was psyched to work with them, yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. A little bit of a uh, backstory is, uh -huh. so that's the original painting right there. Uh-huh. And um, when we turned it in, uh, I guess Marvel Consumer Products says, uh, it was a little too bloody. They have like they can't have gore. So we really? changed the colors up a little bit and got rid of the red. So yeah, it's cool. Kind of like a Picasso a little bit. All right, thank you. <laughs> wow. Nice. Uh, just for the, the these prints. They already paid me a private. I already paid you. Yeah, okay. but then they, they sent me a couple prints that I can sell. So. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool. Yeah, anyway, anyway, help. <laughs> All right. Take care. All right. Okay. Wow, that was amazing. See that side show? Mm, I'm shouting you guys out. I'm meeting artists. Small world. This is the artist alley. And um, I'm not going to stop and charge up because it's just going to take too much time. So I'm going to have some fun. And I'll probably give you guys um, a little bit of footage before I leave. And hopefully I have enough battery. But you guys, you know, keep your stats up. And this is Comic Con and the pandemic 2021. Thank God I'm alive. And I hope your families are safe. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. And I'll check you guys on the next one. But until then, peace. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but don't go anywhere. Make sure you check out my other videos to the playlist to the right. Have a good day. Peace.